Stenting of the carotid artery is a nice treatment option for patients who need to have their blood vessel reopened, mainly in the setting of when they've had a prior stroke. For the carotid stenting procedure, the preparation actually begins several days before. We do need patients to be on certain blood thinners, for example, aspirin and Plavix, which need to be into your system usually for about five to seven days to allow the body to be able to receive the stent. You're put under a good sedation so that you would be very comfortable through the procedure. We put a small tube called a groin sheath to be able to access the artery and come in and out of the blood vessel. From there, we actually put larger catheters into the blood vessels, which we place then next to the blockage and narrowing. We deliver a small wire across the blockage in order to deliver essentially a little filter or balloon. One of the major risks of the procedure is that little pieces of the blockage potentially can break off. By having the filter into place, this can capture those pieces and prevent any complications from occurring. The next step is to use a series of balloons and then eventually a stent, which is a wire mesh that's used to prop open the blood vessel. Once that's completed, we capture the filter, remove it out of the blood vessel. We ask people to stay overnight to watch for any issues and most patients are released the next day from the hospital. In terms of the risk of the procedure, there is a small risk of infection, bleeding. There is some risk of injuring the blood vessel wall and stroke. The other major concern we would have in terms of uh, risk of the procedure is that this in some ways is like opening up a dam on a river. And when you have a sudden rush of blood that goes up to the brain, sometimes that can overwhelm the brain and we can see bleeding into the brain, something called reperfusion injury. We take great care after the procedure to try to control the blood pressure to try to prevent this issue from happening. Overall risk of complications with this procedure and generally in the range of about a 3% risk of some kind of complication happening. That's why we are also very, very selective about which patients should be offered this treatment. In terms of follow-up after the procedure, once you're released from the hospital, we do like to continue to watch the stent, usually utilizing carotid ultrasounds. The main reason to watch the stent after it's being put in is that there is a small chance, about a 1-2% to chance, of the stent re-blocking over time. The excellent thing about Cleveland Clinic is we have really a fantastic team of practitioners that takes you all the way from when you first see us in the office all the way through your procedure to when you're having your follow-ups. We work in this team environment where we're really collaborating, working together to offer the best experience for patients, making sure we do everything we can to ensure that there's a great outcome at the end of it.